What I did know was that we were making a film about friendship primarily, it wasn't a political film about uh, people with disabilities, it was a film about two guys who kind of befriend each other in an institution and who decide that it might be a good idea to live out in the real world. Hey, it's a Roy's offer, I saw her first. A filthy mongrel. Buddy movie is the best way to describe it, I would say. Over there. Keep your mouth shut while I do the talking. It is a buddy movie in many ways. It's, it's charts the development of a relationship between two young men um, from very, very unlikely friends and maybe actually very likely friends, but on a kind of top level superficial basis. You'd never think it. Congratulations, girls. You've been chosen Cripple Companions of the Month. I'm Rory, this is Michael, and we come bearing treasure in our laps. There's it always this much fun here. It's today somebody's birthday. What's special about Rory is that he is an annoying bastard, I think. That was the whole point about it was, that was the real test actually, was to find someone who was so obnoxious, who could really be annoying, and hopefully an audience would find some sort of empathy with him, would start to like him. Yeah, I think he's a very positive and rounded character. Uh, not rounded in the sense of the dramatic sense, rounded in, in the human sense. Um, but it's not immediately apparent. Come on now, Roger. relationship between the two boys is, is certainly the drive of the film, it's certainly what takes them out into the real world and then if anything I think maybe the real world and the complications all that slightly takes over but uh, throughout all of that it's where they are together that continues to fuel the two boys their attitude to each other and indeed to what they've achieved. So uh, I'm going out. Michael's attracted to Rory because here's this character who's just arrived into this institution where Michael's living and he has come from the outside world from out there and he's kind of ambitious to to get back out there and to live alone and this, he has this whole attitude to life that's sort of fresh to Michael. You'll get me on front door key. Oh no we don't give out front door keys here. It's not home then is it? What's good about him and Michael is they actually okay let's talk a bit disability. Let's talk about mortality. Let's talk about life ambitions and goals. Is it just to survive or is it to live? The appeal that Michael might have for Rory is, is maybe just that kind of whole naivety and innocence that he's almost like someone who needs to be taken care of. Rory, I think, feels that this guy needs some help uh, because, you know, if, if no one does anything for him now, he's just going to sit in that institution for the rest of his life and do nothing with his life. And Rory sees that as a terrible waste and a terrible loss. She's you know, intrigued by the possibility of doing something different with her life. And I'm sure also intrigued by the idea of, of Rory, certainly, who can be very charming. You must know your name. Siobhan? Hey, Siobhan. He's Michael. I'm trouble. Yeah, I can see that. Hey, he's, he's fun. Do you know you could have he's fun and he's exciting and he's funny. And I think she gets a kick out of his personality, definitely. Hey, hey this is what you're doing tomorrow night. Today you have trouble. So should you. Where's the fun in that shit? We'd never imagine. There is a real aspect of the love triangle in this film. But I quite like it that we didn't expect it. Myself and Stephen never saw it coming. And I don't think uh, Romola did either. Follow me and I'll show you some real romance. Yeah, this'll do. Well, the irony actually of casting was that Rory was a harder part for us to cast. I would have thought Michael was was going to be the real challenge to cast, um, but you know we saw a few people and, and then we met James McAvoy, who was stunning, and not only was he stunning in the audition, but he grew into the role and he got better and better, which was you know an amazing thing to watch. This actor getting so immersed into the character that he becomes it. I'm not looking for anybody to be sympathetic to Rory. I'm just trying to tell a story, really. You know, uh, and I think sympathy is something that will be there if it needs to be. And um, and if it doesn't need to be, then we shouldn't force it. Are you going to shut up or am I going to have to make it? I'd love to see you try.
who are our servants of all, our skivvy, our slave. Just remember, you're a servant too.